Before I introduce today's guest, I encourage you to drop your questions into the chat and we address as many as possible at the end of today's webinar. Any questions that we're unable to get a chance to answer during the webinar, we'll make sure we get those answered after the webinar. And next is going to be a quick word from Verizon before we dive into the presentation. Ready. The free online program designed to give your business the tools it needs to thrive in today's digital economy with access to personalized learning plans that help you stay ahead in the online marketplace, coaching from experts, and networking opportunities with diverse businesses in your industry. It's all part of our plan to leave no small business behind. Register at verizon.com slash small business digital ready. Meet Grammarly Go, your go-to solution for getting quality work done quickly. I just noticed that I am on mute. I am so very sorry. Excuse that. Um, now that you know a little bit more about the Verizon Small Business Digital Ready program, I encourage you to scan the QR code that you see on your screen. This will enable you to get registered um, and walk throughout the process of, of the presentation that we'll be presenting with you today. We will also be dropping that link into the chat so that you can access it that way if that's easier for you. Now our speaker today is Philip Dunn. Philip is the program manager of uh, the Greenwood Women's Business Center's parent company, the U.S. Black Chambers of Commerce. It's an honor and a pleasure to have you here with us today, Phil, and we welcome you.
and then the opportunities that are afforded to you. So we're going to start first with what is this program about? And so as we move to the next screen, so once you click on that start now that you saw on the previous page, you're going to come to this welcome page and it's going to ask you for your email address. And when you put your email address in, it's going to send you, as I mentioned, an email to ask you to um, uh, to verify. So you'll base, basically kind of, you know, set up your email address. It'll ask you to set up a password. Um, you'll hit continue. Um, it will then generate this message and it's going to bring you back to a page that is looks just like this page, except it'll say username uh, and password word make sure that you go and email is really critical there's like a, a about a 10 minute time frame um in doing that just to you know avoid any uh you know cyber issues or fraud issues so it's really critical that you uh go in to validate your pro your security profile if you don't see that email just come back to this page and hit resend email that happened to me um once as i was working through a registration process and the email will come back to your email address as I mentioned, it's really critical um, that you set aside 15 to 30 minutes for this process. So once you start this, um, you know, make sure that you're you have the time to kind of go through the whole thing. It really doesn't take a lot of time, but if you kind of get up and you move away and you got to come back, it just sort of belabors the process and it might make you frustrated. And so I just, you know, hope that you can set aside the time uh, to just walk through this. So we're going to go to the next page so you see what happens once you validate your email address. So once you validate it, um, it's going to tell you you're almost there. So this is the a message that you get in your email that says you're almost there. It asks you to register and uh, register now. You click that register now button, and then you're gonna come back to this page here. Um, and so this page is really um, sort of the email address, user ID that you have, and then you start your process of putting in your, pa uh, your first name, last name, password, um, confirming your password and answering a security question, hit continue, you'll move to the next screen, which is step five, which is just being able to sign in re uh, regularly as your username and password. So once you do that part, we're gonna move to the next screen and here's a, just a series of questions that you're gonna answer. They're really simple, you don't have to think about them. All you have to do is just kind of click buttons to go through the process. So it's gonna first ask you uh, what's your business Business category, um, and it has a number of different categories from, um, you know, automotive to marketing to nonprofit to uh, retail, professional services. So whatever you categorize your business as, there is a category for it. Just click on that. Uh, next will be uh, insert your business name, followed by inserting your business address. Then it'll ask you, um, how do you serve your clients? And so that typically is, do you serve them, you know, in a, in a brick and mortar store, in a regular store that people can walk into, or do you serve them strictly online, or do you do a combination of both? You just have to select that. So it's really just three choices there. It's then going to ask you, what kind of digital tools do you currently use? If you don't use any, that's fine, but typically someone's using, you know, um, they're using their web page or they're using uh, social or they're using um, a financial, you know, a software like uh, QuickBooks or something else like that. Um, or they're using, you know, PayPal or Square. So any of those things sort of qualify in that category. And all you have to do is select um, a few of them. And I think in a couple of these categories, it'll just say you have a maximum number to select, or it'll say you can opt to select as many as you like. On the next slide, we're going to really highlight the next set of uh, pieces that um, go through um, these categories. It's now going to ask you to click on the number of years that are business. So literally is sort of a, you know, just some squares that kind of have uh, um, categories of, of length of business time. You're just going to click on one of those. Same thing with number of employees. You'll click on that. Um, then it'll ask you three areas of learning. And really what that means is what is it that you're interested in? Uh, in having Verizon Small Business Digital Ready help you be able to do. That could be anything from, you know, uh, email marketing uh, to social media planning, uh, to, um, you know, cybersecurity. There are a lot of different um, areas that you can select there. Um, you can select up to three of those areas and uh, just be able to, to sort of move through to the next uh, question, which is, 
who do you want to connect with? Again, because there are a lot of different um, areas within the program itself, you can elect to, you know, connect with a peer network. You can uh, um, elect to connect with one of the Verizon coaches. Um, so again, they're already laid out there. All you got to do is hit one of those selection buttons. Next, it will ask you a diversity group. So it does um, look at um, uh, you identifying uh, your ethnicity and or whether you're, you know, women-owned business, veteran-owned business and the like. And then finally, it'll ask you to insert your phone number. So uh, we're going to conclude with that. Um, we're going to take questions at the end for this, but I'm going to, um, after we walk through this page, I'm going to actually walk you through the process so you can see uh, how it works. Um, I do want to remind you that we have our Greenwood Women's Business Center, which is um, the um, our entity that is um, administering this program uh, right now. And so you can always find uh, information by clicking on Greenwood WBC as well as by chambers.org. Um, you can also find other resources from us. So if you come back and visit us, um, you'll see us at usbychambers.org slash webinars. We have an ongoing suite of learning opportunities through there. Um, we also have our USBC Navigator website at usbcnavigators.org. Other opportunities that you can connect locally with our Chambers of Commerce who are participating in that program. Um, we also have buyblack.us. And so if you're interested in having your business uh, be on our uh, directory of Black-owned businesses, um, all free of charge. You can um, elect to uh, onboard your business there and have it be part of the directory, or go one step further and have your business certified um, as a certified business, which opens you up to lots of opportunities uh, in the supply chain and supplier diversity space. And then finally, just follow us on social at Greenwood WBC or US Black Chambers uh, to keep in touch with all of the things that we have going on. So with that, I'm going to transition this a little bit um, to the actual web page. So we're gonna share my screen. And where we are right now um, is at the Verizon site. I'm going to go back one. So I think it's at the USBC site. So if you went to usblackchambers.org, um, this is what you'll see. It's one of the first banners that you'll see. And all you really have to do is click on it. And as you can see, we have Verizon, USBC, and GB in our Greenwood Women's Business Center as part of this effort. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, and so um, if you look at the page itself, um, you can elect to sign in this way, how you sign in and register for the process. So I'm going to hit register because I'm going to set up a new account. Okay, and if you remember the screenshots that you saw, um, you will see that, um, let me put in my email address. You will see that this looks just like the screenshots that you saw in the presentation. So you put in your email address and then you hit continue. Okay, now it has sent an email to me at my email address. I'm going to go into my email address now. And I'm going to accept it. And I'm doing it on my phone because it's a little bit easier than me having this toggle between pages. So the um, I've received the email. It basically says take the to verify your account. It's telling me I'm almost there. And so I am going to hit register now. So that it'll allow me to go in and actually create my password. So I'm gonna move out of this space right here. I'm gonna go into sign in. And I'm gonna use my other account so you can see what happens um, as part of that. OK. 
Okay. So once you once you get that message, and uh, you should have a screen that'll come up um, within your computer where you can just go directly to it. Um, it then allows you to kind of go, you know, into um, the profile. And so right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if there's anything else for me to complete relative to my business profile. But all of the steps that I walked through originally. Um, where it's asking me what kind of tools am I currently using? Here's again that whole selection process, right? And so this is what it looks like once you've registered, but you literally get to select these pieces. Um, it asks you, uh, what do you want to learn about? Um, you get to put those pieces in and you can select up to three. It's going to ask you, who would you like to connect with? And so I like to, you know, I, I want to know more about marketing. I want to know more about peers who are in my industry, uh, any business owners with similar interests. But as you can see, you can select legal experts, HR experts, finance experts, peers in my region, whatever really works for you in this process. Um, next is, do you identify with any of the following groups? Um, and so I am African-American, so um, I'm a Black-owned business. I selected that, and I'm also a woman-owned business as well. And if you're a veteran-owned business or um, a disability-owned business or uh, any of the other uh, categories, you can select those. Uh, next, it's going to ask me, you know, where do I primarily, who do I primarily serve, where do I serve them? Most of the people that I work with are online. And so you have, again, sort of these four options to select that. How many employees do I have? You get to select that number. Uh, what's the annual revenue? You get to select that range of numbers. How long have you been in business? And then you hit save. Right? And it should allow you to go, I can go back to my account. I can edit my profile if I want, or I can just go back to, um, to the page to, again, sign in. So that I can now see the courses, coaching, community, or other incentives that are available. Um, what's great about these courses um, is that they're they're self-serve, but they're really uh, short in length. So I think the maximum time of any of them, of any of the ones that I've looked through, is like 45 minutes. But typically they're 20 minutes or 30 minutes. And um, for this particular grant opportunity, um, you would want to complete at least two of those sessions uh, to be eligible. So um, as you can see, it's a lot of different topics from cyber uh, to selling, uh, to uh, remote work within your business, operating efficiency. So a lot of different courses here. Uh, there's also a, a, a series of them um, as well. Uh, USBC will also, and, and Greenwood uh, Women's Business Center will also be featuring specific courses that you can just sign in to us and just kind of walk along the process with us um, if you'd like uh, some additional assistance. I mentioned coaching. Um, and so these are my courses right now, but then there's all courses. And so as you can see, there's just a battery of different courses um, available to you. As we move over to the coaching space, um, you can find a mentor to help work with you and coach you uh, through Verizon. And so um, they're in partnership with MicroMentor, so there are some personalized attention that you can receive as part of this. This in and of itself, as a free resource, is invaluable and definitely something that you want to be able to connect with. So that's what you can do from a personalized perspective and then from just a general coaching perspective, whether it's one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's actually expert, um, you can tune into some of these webinars to participate in those, um, as well as some of these one-on-one -on -one reviews and, and any of the dates uh, that you might need to register for those particular events. So this is a really, really great resource, one that I hope that you'll take full advantage of. Um, and I think it'll be extremely beneficial to your company. The next is community. Um, they do have a Slack community, so you can join Slack um, if, if you're interested, and then you'll be able to connect with lots of other business owners um, as well. And then they also have a live community event. If you wanted to learn more, you could go to that event on March 24th. Again, you would just register uh, to participate, scrambling at the last minute um, to, uh, to pull together. 
gather uh, information, but it's a fair process. Um, and one that I'd love to see all of you participate in. And then beyond that, there's obviously other offers that they have um, as well, uh, you know, a, a 60 day trial for online bookkeeping, video conferencing services. So a lot of the kinds of tools and resources that make it easier for businesses to be able to, um, uh, to gain that level of efficiency, um, but also to get the kind of uh, tools and resources that help them be able to move their businesses forward. Um, and so with that, I'm going to stop sharing now. Just give me a minute. And we're going to take some questions. So I'm going into the Q&A. Let me check the chat right now. Um, thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. Um, appreciate you tuning in. Um, I'm going to answer your question in real time, so I'm not going to type your answers back to you. Um, you entered the name of your business, but continue was still grayed out, so you couldn't continue. So my question to you would be, do you already have an account within Verizon? Um, because that could be um, the issue. So usually when you enter your name, something will come up where it's, it's sort of like a, a Google um, verification of your name. So whatever that message says, if it's saying that there's a duplicate, that's why you can't continue. So just check your business name. If you've got an LLC or Inc or anything else, um, part of that, a lot of times we all have, you know, similar company names, make sure that that gets included. So put in the full sort of legal um, name that you filed your, your business paperwork with. Um, so it doesn't look like there's any other questions. As I said, um, if you do, you can reach out to us at programs at usbikechambers.org if you have questions after the fact. Uh, we will make this um, video available um, for you to access. Uh, and it is also streaming um, right now. So we hope that you have an opportunity to see it uh, on one of your favorite social platforms uh, shortly. Um, and for those who did register, you can also receive the, um, the presentation if you like. So um, happy to be able to do this, happy to help you go through this process and make it a lot simpler for you. Um, hopefully that's what I accomplished in this. Um, and I really want to thank you all for joining today. And as I said, please, you know, reach out to us as a resource, um, not only for this program, for any, but for any of your other business needs. So thank you again for joining and have a great weekend. Help me welcome our partner for the 16th Nelson Mandela Annual Lecture, Ntate Motsepe. <laughs>